We begin tonight with remembering Maddie Soto, a church packed with people paying their respects. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. And I'm Luann Sorrell. The memorial taking place in Osceola County. Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie is live there tonight. So Hannah, was Maddie's family in attendance? Well, Luann, behind me now, an empty lot, but earlier that was packed, and church officials say they did get the blessing from Soto's family to have this event tonight, but we do not believe they were in attendance here. As the community continues to mourn Maddie Soto's loss, they're also asking for her justice. There are times where words just feel so inadequate. And sometimes our tears are all that we have. A service of hope and healing held Wednesday night at Peace Church Orlando in memory of Maddie Soto, some of her Hunter's Creek classmates in attendance. She was a sweet girl and she did not deserve this. Soto's disappearance turned murder, hitting some of the community's youngest members hard. There's still going to be a hole in people's hearts, but it might close it a bit more just if there's justice. Stefan Stearns, Soto's mother's boyfriend, named prime suspect in her disappearance, but not yet charged in her death. A crime scene photo seemingly showing Soto's body in a wooded area in St. Cloud, later posted to Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez's Instagram account. How do you post a crime scene photo on Instagram? I, I, it, it was just totally unbelievable. Belvin Perry Jr., former chief judge for the Ninth Judicial Circuit, says this leak could have numerous legal repercussions. Number one, there's the possibility of a third degree felony charge. Number two, depending on the circumstances and some of the effects upon the family, i.e. the mother, there's the possibility of a civil suit. Do you think, in your professional opinion, this could have evidentiary impact moving forward on Madeline Soto's case? There's going to be questions raised about the integrity of the evidence and chain of custody. I hope uh, that they will, con they will dot every I and cross every T, because with this gaffe, uh, the defense will look for other things that they may have mishandled. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is now investigating. We reached out to FDLE for more information other than to confirm they are investigating the incident. They declined to give additional details. Live in Kissimmee, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News.